Greetings everyone, this is Roadwolf again, and again I am on the Flying Circus server uh, to demonstrate how the automated, the Barrel Memorial automated subway system works. And this is inside the prototype station, which is copied and pasted at every single station using single player commands. I um, have to bring the file out of the server in order to do that, but I'm lazy. I didn't didn't really feel like wanting to reproduce this at every station manually so I don't know if you could blame me so these red wires here this is your input destination so this, this these are the toggle switches that you basically you have to manually adjust in order to enter the address and then they go through these gates which is your outgoing car destination input selector and the gates are triggered by either the southbound or northbound um, selection up here. So they come down here, they actually get into an OR gate right there, which combines them. So either OR will trigger those gates and send the signal further on down into the outbound car. And in incoming train disable gates, which is the controlled by this green wire which is ultimately controlled by this purple wire which I'll get into later um, and then if it's okay if there's not a train coming then the signal gets put into these buffers which are latches there's four latches one for each bit and then uh, after a short delay the uh, this trigger, uh, the one-shot pulse, is set, which shoots a, a single pulse up to the outbound data gates. Boom, and all the data comes out, and depending on which way you selected, it'll go either to the southbound data gates or northbound data gates. And then each one has its own series of one-shot pulses for each data bit, including the start bit. And those all get muxed together into a serial data line with delay between each one. And how do I get out of here? There we go. And that gets sent out for each direction, one going southbound, one going northbound. So, that's how the data gets out. How the data gets in comes in through, uh, you know, the same pipe. And it comes down here to these OR gates where it'll take either northbound or southbound data, whichever one gets here. Um, yes, I understand that. Uh, you know it's not able to handle two trains at the same time I could have I was thinking about making an array for it but I figured that would take up way too much space and simpler is often better um, so here you go okay start bit fires off this orange circuit and also first bit will close that so that the other bits won't uh, trigger it and then it, everything should line up once the start, start bit hits and it will throw these latches which will then display the proper code right here on these uh, this bus and down here it will check the code to the station's address which you actually set using by manually adjusting these gates and gates are one uh, not gates are zero so this is one one zero one which is the station's address and if that address comes in it will light up this green wire 
and light up the pink, which is a brake line, and it will also set a delay circuit, um, or a reset circuit, which is delayed, which will start resetting certain things that are not needed. Anyways, uh, let's watch this happen. Oh, yeah, if it's not the station, uh, the destination station, it will send the uh, signals up here to the output buffers again, and once the train comes in, it will basically send the signal back out same uh, in the same direction it was coming. So, let's do this so you can see the signal come in. You see it coming in, and boom, we got 1101. And the brake lines are lit and ready to go. Um, all these things here, this is all just check circuits, train approaching latches, um, just ancillary stuff that you basically need in order to make it um, to detect trains, to detect which way they're coming from, um, and a lot of that is in order to basically decide which way the train is going to be going if you're coming, if it's a through train. Um, so, there's a lot of circuitry involved. Um, I would not suggest attempting this unless you understand basic like electronics um, but I will have this file available uh, so that you can download it and tweak with it yourself um, again if you use the this actual file anywhere just please give me credit um, but yeah enjoy it and uh, of course it could have been more complex with an array and, and uh, minecart dispenser and all this stuff, but I figure really why. So anyways, um, that's it, and as you can see the brakes are set. Uh, I need an actual minecart here to reset the system unless... but I can... well, that will reset it. Let's see. But I also included a master reset here just in case So yeah, that's it. Um, enjoy, and I hope you found that educational.